In this example, we'll take a look at Kirchhoff's voltage law and its application to a simple circuit. Kirchhoff's voltage law says for any closed loop in an electric circuit, the sum of the voltages around that loop must equal to zero. So let's take a look at this simple example circuit. We have a total of eight circuit elements labeled A through H. Four of the circuit element voltages are given and we're asked to find the rest. So VA is given as 10, VB is given as minus 3, VF is given as 12, and VH is given as 5. So we see in this circuit that there are a number of loops. So consider the first loop. Loop 1 consists of elements A, D, and B. Now using Kirchhoff's voltage law, we'll walk around that loop and uh, try to come up with a voltage expression. So let's start at let's start at this point right here and walk around this loop. As I take a walk along this loop, the first sign I encounter in loop one is a positive sign, and the magnitude of that voltage is VA. So let's write that expression out as plus VA. As I move, move along that loop, the next thing I encounter is element D and a negative sign first. So minus VD. And as I walk through that element and into B, I encounter a positive sign for VB first and the magnitude and then I get back to where I started from. So, loop one expression is plus VA. Loop one expression is plus VA minus VD plus VB. Loop one expression is plus VA minus VD plus VB is equal to zero. We know the values of VA and VB. V and VB are known, so we can calculate VD as 7 volts. Similarly, now let's take a look at second loop consisting of elements D, F, and Z. In this loop, in this loop 2, let's start from this node right here. As we walk, the first sign we encounter is a plus sign and VD. So that's plus VD. Next thing we encounter is a plus sign, and the magnitude is VF. And the next sign that we encounter is a minus VG before we end up at the starting point. So we can write that expression as plus VD plus VF minus VZ is equal to zero. We just calculate the value of VD as 7 volts. So 7 volts, VF is given as 12, so we can solve for VZ as being 19 volts. Let's take a look at loop number 3. The loop 3 will consist of elements E, G, and H. VE, so let's start again at a particular point in the loop. Start right here. From here, as I traverse along the loop, the first thing I see is a negative sign for VE. So minus VE. Then as I walk here, when I see element G, I see the plus sign first. So minus VE plus VG. I walk to element H and I see the plus sign again. So plus VH is equal to zero. Minus VE plus VG plus VH is equal to 0. We calculate the value of VZ earlier as 19 volts. VH is given as 5 volts. So VE can be calculated as 19 plus 5, which is 24 volts. Now we have one more loop to finish, and we need to know the value of one more voltage, which is VC. So let's take a look at loop 4. In this loop, Let's go ahead and start at, so I'll start at this point right here, random. You can start at any point. So I'll start at this point and I'll traverse in the direction of that loop. As I walk through, I first encounter a negative sign, 
negative sign for VB, so minus VB. Then, as I walk down, I see the positive sign for VE. As I walk further, the next sign I encounter is a positive sign, and then VC. And then I get back to the original start of the loop. So, I can write down that expression as minus VB plus VE plus VC is equal to zero. We recently calculated the value of VE. We're given the value of VB. So we should be able to calculate value VC as negative 27 volts. Now in this circuit, in this example, I drew the loops all in a clockwise direction. You can do the same thing by choosing any direction of the loop. Now, we know all the voltages. There are more than just these four loops in the circuit. So let's use one of these extra loops to see if we uh, did this calculation correctly. Let's choose the outermost loop. So this outermost loop consisting of elements A, F, H, and C. For that loop, if I start at node VA, I see plus VA, plus VF, plus VH, plus VC, and I get back to the original node, is equal to zero. So I'm just looking at the outer nodes and the elements in that node. So VA, VF, VH, VC is equal to zero. Now let's use the value of VA was 10 volts. VF is 12 volts. VH was 5, and VC was minus 27. So just plugging that all in, we get 10 plus 12 plus 5, which is 27, minus 27 equals zero. So that checks up. So in, this is basically, this, since this equation is satisfied, we can confidently say that all the calculations we did here for these four unknown values should be correct.